Good morning guys. It's Sunday morning. Yeah in Freetown and I'm just taking a morning walk. It's part of my weekend exercise. I'm just taking a morning walk to the beach. Just want to stroll to the beach before going to church. Happy Palm Sunday to all Christians. I'm walking at the Freetown Road, Lumley. This is the wood. Oh. This road is new littered. I don't know why. It used to have some coal tar, but they come and add others there. This is my morning walk. And every blessed day, or at every time that I'm doing some work, I used to discuss. Look at this vehicle because they are tying this road. This white vehicle, look at it. No. These are areas that is under construction. They are making wood around this area and they also want to put a foot bridge like the one that they have already constructed <laughs> at Uber Force. So as you can see they have started the foot bridge this one over here. So they are just want us to discuss the economy of Sierra Leone. I do have with me fifty dollar that I want to change. I'm going to change it on a black market. You will see what fifty dollar what currently in Sierra Leone. Trust me, that's fifty dollars. You just need to buy a bag of rice and other small items. It is finished. Our economy is going from bad to worse. Our currency is being rated. Among the least currency in the world, it is the second least currency in the world. It doesn't have any value any longer in the world. Sometimes we have been living like a magician in this country. It's a cue for fear and for just a little of fear it's about a dollar. Is it a dollar? How much for how much is it? 2 million, 1 million, 40 million. 
Two million one hundred forty for hundred dollars. Wow. So how much for fifty dollars? Fifty dollars. And one million twenty. Mm. One million seventy million. Yeah. One million seventy million. Yes. Which I put the dollar the fly so. I got nine to make the dollar the fly so. Because I have a super Every day, I will call Every day, I will call Every day, I will I will I will I will I will call Every day, I will I will I will I the gold. So with this fifty dollar I get, how much are you getting? This one million four and seven thousand. Eh? One million seventy million. One million seventy million. Yes. Okay. So give me the one million seventy million. Wow. So you got you add it for just a fifty dollar. It's on the new currency is about a thousand and seven limbs but on the old currency is one million and seventy limbs so just imagine a bag of rice now is going over seven hundred thousand so these are the new currency yeah. so this is a new currency the denominated currency not new but the denominated currency so you, this is five five million. Yes, five five. Twenty million. 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 So, the guys are <laughs> I've changed to the fifty dollar and they even they want me to give them something else. I don't know selling hands. So I just wanted to show you the way inflation is being eating our economy. Everything is being skyrocketed. Our money doesn't have any 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 value anymore just imagine those tricycle guys they are calling me we we'll call them keke yeah this guy is just from exercising this is a beach road there are so many people are doing their exercise on sunday morning some are jogging like that one so just imagine Within this short distance, if I decide to take transport, within this short distance from um, Lomli, Lomli um, station to beach, a very short distance, it will cost me something like uh, 5,000 loans, all currency of 5 loans, new one. So, Because of the fear is expensive. Because of fear is expensive. Obviously, we just have to expect that the means of transportation are going to be expensive. People are really suffering in, in this country. They do sometimes. I don't want. I don't want to attribute it to the government, but 
Believe me. Our government needs to do more. They really need to do more. We have so many rooms for improvement. They're constructing, they are constructing the markets of this place. They are constructing park, markets, and so on at this place. About a year ago, the bank governor of Ceylon decided to he dominates the currency stating that it's going to increase in value but how will it increase in value when we are not producing we are not exporting so his economics for me was not good <laughs> not for me and some few weeks ago of the noise in this place I ever is waking some weeks ago I learned that the government have replaced him how can you replace him for just over four years he has been doing the same thing, we have not been seeing any improvement in the economy. So this area has been called Lumley Beach Road. And this is the SOS Children's Village in Sierra Leone. Just money for a bag of rice. You know why I'm mentioning a bag of rice? Because for us Sierra Leonean, our staple food is rice. Our staple food is rice. And they have different qualities of rice. So the price of rice currently it ranges from 650000 to 800,000 leons. So just imagine 50 dollar worth about oh, just over a million leons. 50 dollar worth just over a 50, just over a million leons. And for a bag of rice worth from from six to eight on there. This is the car park. Various car park. Or car park for various destination, I'm sorry.
you want to eat good in Freetown, you have to spend a lot of money. Because just imagine, for just a single piece of kini, the last time I went to the market, for just a single piece of kini, it's now what? Between 50 to 80,000 leons, depends on the size. Depends on the size. Cow skin. Here in Sierra Leone, we call it skanda. Now the smallest size of skanda in Sierra Leone. Now what? Ten thousand years. I just want to walk to the beach and return home for me to prepare for church. Today is Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday to everyone, to all my Christians, all my Christian subscribers, and Ramadan Karim to all my Muslim subscribers. You know, one good thing that you can't take away from Sierra Leone is the religious tolerance. We are one of the most peaceful religious countries. This is the perimeter wall of Freetown Golf Club. We are so peaceful when it comes to religious activities. I don't know what they are doing here. These are timbers being decorated. Those timbers that they are decorating the from this tree that they do chop off. You can see it. All the update plants are not that tree. not going to do the very long walk that we usually do on Saturday only because yesterday I was so busy with other errands that's why I didn't post any video yesterday sorry happy new month to everyone Happy new ones to everyone. It's my bad month. You know, Friday. Yeah, Friday is good Friday. 
Friday, good Friday, it's my birthday. I'm considering of doing some charitable work or giving someone, giving to people that are less privileged or asking for an assistance, whosoever willing to help me i give back to the person something but i'm considering that so let's cross over to the beach guys give me a suggestion that you want me to do for my birthday on Friday guys are playing football Let us have some beach walk. I know that because this is Ramadan, the beach is quite empty on Sunday. Because we usually have so many people on this beach on Sunday morning either to to jog or to play football but this is the Atlantic Beach yeah in Freetown this is the most popular beach in Freetown Do you know why this is the most popular beach in Freetown? Because it is a beach very close to the city center. This is the beach very close to the city center. I'm trying to reduce my weight. That's why I'm now doing this long walk. Our government it's just about either 84 or 83 days 
to the national election. They are all campaigning, those in opposition want to come in. The ruling want to continue. But let's ask ourselves a question. What do they have to offer us? We have been suffering. The youth, every blessed year, we are having so many graduates from the various universities in the country without any job or anything so that they will build on and create job for, for themselves. Sometimes we do live in this country by magic. Just imagine the minimum wage bill, minimum wage paid in Sierra Leone is about $25. You know, paying someone $25. What that money will do for that person and his family or our family. The sun is now coming out. Please just tell me what $25 will get for someone in this economy. Happy new months once more. And this is my bath month, April, the 7th of April. I'm going to add another year on my age. I'm so grateful to God. It has not been easy, but God has been leading me throughout these years and the past years. We are giving back to the community, we are giving back to society. The little that I and my family do have, we are giving back. I want to say a special thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Heinz Goy Lewis. These people have been doing fantastic, fantastic well for us and for the community. If you have been seeing me going to Lunge, most times it's because of these people. They are the ones sponsoring the charitable work that we are doing in Lunge. We know we are changing life of young peoples in Lunge. 
we are renovating their school. No, I love the waves, the sound of the waves. They came. They came to um, Sierra Leone the last time, and they visited that particular community. They do not have any ties with that community whatsoever, but they just want to give back to society. So they are helping in renovating that school. You are also welcome if you want to join hands together. Come in and make light work. If you want to join hands together in helping that school, I've done a video, another video about when we have been changing some parts of the roof. You will see the excitement of the people. So you will also join us. And helping developing the young ones. If we develop the young ones, at least, they will have a brighter future. As for me or my age mates, for some of us who saw the war too in Sierra Leone, many people are not okay. I will tell you that outrightly. They are just trying to be okay, but things have not been well for them. But despite that, we do have some positive story coming out from Sierra Leone. Do you know that according to Time Magazine, they published recently that the Freetown Peninsula is one of the greatest place, places you can visit this year. So come and visit Sierra Leone. We are still a virgin ground, that I can say. We do have so many things that you will invest in. And tourism. It's just one part of it. Let us just sit and watch the waves. So this is just one part of it. Catch me sitting. Thank you very much for your usual support. I do appreciate everyone. Continue to watch my video. Continue to give your comments, what you like and what you don't like about the channel. I'm always willing to accept corrections. Or you can also give what you want to see on the channel. I will be coming, this is April also, and this is the month where Sierra gain its independence. So I will continue the history lesson also this month. <coughs> so this is a beautiful Atlantic beach. okay for me and I believe it's time for me to see or it's time for me to return because I've been working for 35 minutes now and I have to go to church
I am also a chorister, so I have to go and praise my maker. to go and give thanks to the Lord. So let me see if I take a bike. No, it's not going. the gym I used to come to this gym but because of time I have to make way for time seen so many bikes today so let's say I'll one of your traveling destination area This April also, the government of Sierra Leone will be giving out citizenship to those who trace their DNA to Sierra Leone. So if you, you have traced your DNA to Sierra Leone, know that you are qualified to have a citizenship from Sierra Leone. I've got a bike. How much? 5,000. Yeah. Thank you.